Good afternoon, and thank you all for joining us for the Summer 2022 White Coat Ceremony. My name is Alex McManus, and I am an Assistant Professor of Nursing here at Mercy College. This ceremony signifies the beginning of our nursing ventures into the clinical realm. So far, they have worked tirelessly in the classroom, uh, classroom setting, and we are here to recognize them for their efforts and to wish them all well in their next steps. I would now like to welcome Bo Bonner to the podium to deliver the reflection. Thank you all very much. It's wonderful to be here. It's an honor and a privilege to be a part of your education and to be a part of your going out into the communities to bring that healing ministry that the sisters have always been about and that uh, roots the foundations of what our college is for. So just a brief reflection followed by a prayer. Uh, to quote Sister, uh, Mother Catherine McCauley, the foundress of the Sisters of Mercy, a very short quote, we should be shining lamps, giving light to all around us. When I look out uh, in this ceremony, when you guys all don the white jackets, uh, the white coats. What does that symbolize? We're going to talk about professionalism. We'll have other people who come up and talk about where that came from historically. But I like to think about this idea from the sisters, that you should be lamps shining light for people, particularly in their time of greatest need. When you are in the darkness of illness, the darkness of ignorance, the darkness of just being confused. Where will you look to see which way you should go? And it is those shining lamps that hopefully any professor, any healer that you have ran into has provided in your lives already. We're excited that you now will be those instances of shining light for the communities that you go out to. And that everything that the Sisters of Mercy have hoped to imbue in the world since they were founded in the 19th century in Ireland and then came over here to the United States, will shine forth in you. People in the scenarios where you will do your work will look to people. They will be looking for help. They will be looking for a good word, for a healing hand, for something to help them with their affliction. They will be looking and these coats symbolize that you will be the lamps that they are looking for. I hope you remember this day as you go out into your healing ministries to be that light for people who need it. And one last time, let me just say that in my role as an educator, administrator here at the college, it has been an honor to be associated with all of you. As you can tell, I'm not particularly healthy looking. People don't ask me for advice about health, but anytime I've been able to say that I'm involved with Mercy College of Health Sciences and someone has ran into you, all of you, out in the field, it gives me immense pride to know that I had a role in lighting you, the shining lamps for the communities that you are a part of. Thank you for choosing to do this Thank you for devoting your life to being one of those lamps. Thank you for letting someone like me uh, have a small role to play in this spreading of the light. So for you who uh, are so, uh, would join me in a prayer, may we bow our heads. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. O oh, compassionate God, look on me today with tender, look on us today with tenderness and give us the grace to walk on the path of mercy, marked out for those who follow you. May all we do today reflect your merciful love. Amen. Good afternoon. My name is Deborah Williard. I am the Dean of Nursing at the college. Some of you know me. 
uh, others that might be a little bit newer. Uh, I want to tell you how proud I am of you today, and I'm here to give the address for this occasion. The white coat ceremony is a rite of passage at Mercy, welcoming you as student nurses into the nursing profession. The white coat itself symbolizes the clinical service and patient care you will deliver at the hospitals during your clinical time. Medicine before students started their first year of study, it was actually um, the white coat ceremony was originated in 1993 with Dr. Arnold Gold, a Columbia University medical professor. He wanted to introduce medical students to the Hippocratic Oath and emphasize the humanism in medicine for their, his students. Um, he wanted to do this before they got into the clinical. He wanted them to know how precious and sacred that care is. So along with reciting the Hippocratic Oath, students accepted a white lab coat as a declaration of commitment and acceptance to the obligations of the profession. Since that time, the white coat ceremony has spread throughout the world and to other healthcare disciplines as an honorable tradition. In 2013, Dr. Gold's foundation and the Robert Woods Johnson Foundation and the American Association of Colleges of Nurses collaborated to offer white coats uh, in a white coat ceremony to baccalaureate students. This event supports the next generation of student nurses to commit to providing compassionate care for all those you serve, just like you're going to be doing. By accepting a white coat, you are making a commitment to transform yourselves into healthcare professionals in whom the patients will place all their trust. Integrity is an extremely important quality of every nurse. As a Mercy College student, you wear your purple scrubs and white coat proudly and humbly. Lead by example, by walking with grace and a willingness to learn. Be respectful to those you're learning from in your clinicals. They are the most knowledgeable people you will meet and you'll always should heed their advice. And as I tell a lot of nursing students, be a sponge, soak in every opportunity that you can during your clinicals. So in closing, may this ceremony open the door for you to the next steps in being a nurse. May you continue your nursing career and lead with knowledge, reverence, integrity, compassion, and excellence. Thank you, and I want to offer uh, uh, Professor Merrick to come up to the stage and we'll get going on your coding. Good afternoon. I'm Professor Suzanne Merrick, and I'll be leading the reading of the names today. Um, students, I'd like you to stand up and line up just as you are, and you'll be moving to this aisle and just following the arrows on the floor, okay? When you approach the podium, please give me your name card and you'll, then you'll hand your white coat to Dr. Williard so that she may coat you, and then you can go around and return to your seats. Okay, so let's begin. Sinite and Demeskel. Elizabeth Archica. Say Ba Gabrielle Brown Isabella Caruso Elsa CG
Rachel Dizon. Anna Egby. Salam Gepretne. Soliana Iesu. Paco Esuman. Beth German. Rachel Hansen. Sarah Jeffries. Erica Leith. Josephine Caromo. Kaylee Monserrat. Paige Meyer. Lana Meyer. Ashton McFarlane. Ayo Palumi Oyendamola. Emily Noland. Catherine Nadler. Sierra Peterson. Tim Peterson. Ariana Ramirez Correa. Zach Ray. Rachel Skulton. Mercy Sirleaf. Jerry Smith. Patrice Curvey. Supanong Sukmonkagong. Bolanel Sosana. Angelina Valdez. Rebecca Thomas.
Angela Williams. Jessica Williams. Congratulations. Now please welcome Professor Joe Moravec for the right of the prayer over hands. Thank you, Professor Merrick. Congratulations to all of you. Because you know, anointing with oil has been practiced by many civilizations throughout the ages as a means for both anointing religiously as well as for anointing to a special task. On the one hand, civilizations, we had ancient healers that would place oil on people to help heal them of their ailments. In other situations, people in civilizations have anointed special leaders, those who have spiritual or civic or professional uniqueness to give them a place of honor as well as to set them apart for the task that they've been called to do. Blessing of the hands here at Mercy College has been a long tradition of anointing and blessing our graduates. And in the nature and in the legacy of the Sisters of Mercy, this has been a special tradition. We're gonna honor that today and honor you in that way. But let's join our hearts together in prayer. Asking the God's abiding mercy and blessings on you, dear students, we pray that yours would be the hands full of experience and skill, that yours would be the hands reaching out with compassion, taking time to show care, and swiftly taking action. We pray that yours would be the hands gently touching your patients and touching the hearts of their families too that yours would be the hands that show you care, lifting up the spirits of those that you touch. We pray that you would be the hands celebrating the joy of healing, that yours would be the hands that channel God's blessings to all that they touch with the spirit of compassion. We thank God for you, dear students, and for the opportunities by which you share your abundance and your gifts. For touching lives and lifting spirits, may God shower blessings and thanksgiving upon you for the many works of your hands. May your hands bring healing to all those you touch. We pray these things to the Lord. Amen. At this time, students, I want to encourage and invite you to come forward and receive the anointing of your hands. And with hands outstretched, I would place the sign of the cross with a little dab of oil on both palms and say a short prayer. May God bless your hands for healing. If for some reason culturally you prefer to have a woman leader to give you that anointing, I've asked Professor McManus if she'd come forward and she'd assist me at this time to do that. But I hope that you'll take advantage of this very special ceremony, the blessing of your hands. May God bless in the healing of your hands. May God bless your hands for healing. 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 
你打断说话，可以吗？你打断说话，可以吗？你打断说话。May God bless your hands. For healing. May 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 God bless your hands. For healing. Bless your hands for healing. May God 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 bless your hands. May God bless your hands for healing. 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 At this time, we're going to ask for Professor Ernst to come forward and lead us in the Florence Nightingale Pledge. In 1912, the Florence Nightingale Medal was established by the International Red Cross to reward nurses who have distinguished themselves in an exceptional manner by great devotion to their patients in a time of war and peace, or peace. Will our nursing students, nursing faculty, and any other certified nurses please stand and join me in reciting the Florence Nightingale Pledge? It's located on your program. I solemnly pledge myself before God and in the presence of this assembly to faithfully practice my profession of nursing. I will do all in my power to make and maintain the highest standards and practices of my profession. I will hold in confidence all personal matters committed to my keeping in the practice of my calling. I will assist the physician in his or her works and will devote myself to the welfare of my patients, my family, and my community. I will endeavor to fulfill my rights and privileges as a good citizen and take my share of responsibility in promoting the health and welfare of the community. I will constantly endeavor to increase my knowledge and skills in nursing and to use them wisely. I will zealously seek to nurse those who are ill wherever they may be and whenever they are in need. I will be active in assisting others in safeguarding and promoting the health and happiness of mankind. Thank you. You may be seated. Up next is a special event of introducing our new Dean of Nursing. I'd like to welcome up both Dr. Willard and Dr. Wessel. Several months ago, I uh, tended my resignation uh, to our provost here at the college. And today, just coincidentally, is my last day. And so uh, this was such a pleasure to be able to put your coats on. It meant more to me than, than you'll know. So I really, really appreciate you allowing me to do that today. I do want to introduce our new dean, 
of Nursing, Dr. Kristen Bryan Wessel, and she will be starting tomorrow, which she started a couple weeks ago, but uh, officially she'll be in her position tomorrow. And uh, if there's, I'm sure her door will be as open as mine was to, to any of the students uh, by email or Teams or, or however. So just wanted to introduce her and then allow her to say hi. Thank you, Dr. Williard. Um, I gotta just tell you guys, looking out over, and I apologize for the voice today, but looking over this room of white coats is very meaningful to me as well. You'll find it to be meaningful to you later in your careers too, more so than you do today. Um, but you're, you've begun a really exciting journey and one that will be incredibly meaningful. And certainly we are all here to support you. And so I just wanna say congratulations. Um, I look forward to celebrating graduation with all of you. Um, I have a little script here that was typed up for me, but I think it goes without saying, and I don't need to read it, that it has really been a pleasure for all of us working with Dr. Williard over the last couple of years. Um, she's been a great leader. Um, she's been an advocate for her faculty, for her students. Um, she's been in the nursing profession for 45 years. That's what I was going to guess, but 45 years of nursing experience. Um, so just a lot of stories that she shared about how nursing has kind of changed throughout the years and just lots of exciting things coming your guys' way. So for those of you that are graduating or those of you that are just getting started, um, there's so much to look forward to in the nursing profession. Um, it's very hard. Um, it's not meant to be easy, right? Because we are taking care of people's lives and saving people's lives and helping them um, be the most healthy they can be. So with that, I do congratulate all of you. We also wish Dr. Williard the best in her retirement. Um, I hope her gardening, her bumblebees, all of those fun things you'll get to do and spend some time doing. So thank you, Dr. Williard, and congrats um, to all of you. Thank you. I did need my script because I had one thing I forgot to say. Um, there are going to be some light refreshments in the lobby if you would all join us. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 